Hey everyone, happy release day. <laughs> so let me see who else might be here. Okay, so welcome everyone. Um, happy 22nd of August. Um, we've got a few out of office announcements up in the in the top. So uh, great news there. Um, enjoy, hope you all enjoy family and friends, which is next 29th, uh, next Monday, which is 29th. If you haven't already, if you plan to take it off and you haven't already got that into Roots, please do put it in there so we, we can um, see who's available and who is not um if for whatever reason the 29th doesn't work for you um feel free to select another day as an alternative family and friends cool so discussion item so i just wanted to drop in this is a little bit less of a discussion unless people want to discuss in which case please go for it but uh, i did just want to drop in a little mention that uh thanks for all the comments on the team split and kind of domain discussion that uh, we started off last week um it's something which we'll definitely be continuing to refine and scope and sort of we'll have some updates that we can post on there to try and improve clarity and kind of uh, set things up. So um, even though not everything has been addressed or most of it hasn't been addressed yet, um, we have we have heard you. So please continue if you've got any other questions or uh, suggestions or things like that. So, um, you know, like, please just keep dropping them on there. We'll be um, we'll be updating on the issue um, as we can. Cool. Uh, Myra, you have point B. Yes, thank you. Uh, so I wanted to bring to your attention the issue that we had, I believe, last Thursday. Uh, so summarize, a merge request was merged, and this merge request was updating a front-end library, which caused for our deployments to increase around 30 minutes because compilation times were, for some reason, also increased. Uh, now, to deal with it, uh, Grains prepare a merge request to update the waiting time in the release tools, and this was necessary because otherwise our checks were failing because we automatically expect only 30 minutes of release times. Uh, now, as an upcoming release manager, I am kind of anxious about this because I don't really want to add another 30 minutes to our deployment pipeline, so I am inclined to revert. But uh, I also wanted to bring this to your attention because we don't really have a streamlined process on how to deal with this. For example, if a merge request is added later and adds 10 minutes to our release pipelines, are we okay with it? Are we not okay with it? Or if another merge request adds 20 minutes to our deployment pipelines and we are just going to say no, or how, where is, I guess I'm not clear on where is the line if there is a line or if we should automatically reject every increase to our deployment pipelines or if there is a better way to deal with this. So what do you all think? That's uh, a super question. Um, I, I don't think there's a black and white answer. Um, I don't think we can automate this to say auto reject or we just accept. Like I don't think either of those will work well. Um, but I do suggest that we, um, start a discussion on this so i um i suspect um i think quite often when these sorts of changes get merged people don't know the impact so our job is primarily to help them see the impact um to explain you know what is the cost of this like what are we seeing uh this is where things like deployment slo become our sort of a set important metrics right where we can show this is the impact um and this is this is this is the cost of basically this change. Um, and then I think it is a bit of a discussion around the value that comes from the change versus the cost that we're now seeing from this change. So um, on this issue specifically, so is the issue that you linked here, is this the one with everything on it? So like I see Graham is assigned, but is this, is Graham dealing with this or did Graham just extend the tools? 
I think Gra Graham's assigned it himself because this was blocking the auto deploy pipeline. So we needed to fix it. And then he created the merge request to extend the waiting time. Uh, but I'm not sure if he's actually working uh, with the author to get clarifications on things. He, okay. The author mentioned that he is working on how to improve the timings, but there is not um, an expected timeline or an expected outcome out of it. Okay. Do you want to maybe give catch up with Graham and find out, like, um, between the two of you, like, what, what are the pieces? But I would suggest we get this written up in a way where um, we kind of summarize what you just said, Myra, where it's this change has gone in. Here is the cost we're seeing on every pipeline. Um, and from there, we lead a discussion with uh, front end on other alternatives. Do they have other ways to get their change through, which won't lead to this increase? Yeah, for sure. I can start a conversation about that. Okay, because I think uh, scanning on this issue is um, the stuff in the in the description is great where Graham's got all the timings, but I think when I read the comments, it's not. I don't think I can easily see the. The well, maybe it hasn't happened already, but I think we should go to to somebody in. Um, in front end, so I'm just trying to scan this. Okay, so maybe Dennis is the person, but I would say let's ask them on like, is this the only option we have, right? Like, because this is quite a big cost um, for every pipeline to um, to take so much longer. And um, I think it, it's certainly worth considering like, what is the change they've made and, and is this the only option? And we can then escalate to other people if needed. I think reading his comment that it was kind of, yeah, we are upgrading. This is a third party library. So we are upgrading it. We are not even at the end of this upgrade process. So it's going to change as well in the future. And we have some way to deal with this. That's the reason why he said, I'm trying to figure out mm. if there is an alternative way because it sounds like we need to upgrade this dependency. Mm. Right. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. For yeah, that. I was probably, we can also. There are, not, there are no clear lines here. I totally agree with you, Amy. I was also trying to figure out where this is a delivery problem and where this is a distribution problem, because we are just affected by this, affected by this. But actually, it's a, it's a distribution pipeline. Mm -hmm. It's That's like QA, right? So if QA suddenly takes thirty minutes more. In theory, is not us to fix that. Is only us to just say, okay, something happened there. So please help. Let's figure out together why this changed. Yeah. So just a note. Yeah, that's a great point. Does that give you what you need, Myra? Uh, yeah, well, basically, I'm going to start a conversation with Dennis about how there are other if there are other alternatives, and also it is a good point to bring someone from distribution because we are being affected by this problem. Cool. Thanks for bringing that one up. And I think kind of just to sort of summarize on, on this, what you say, Myra, like we we certainly have some of these things that will sort of just come in and are, unfortunately, we have to just accept, but also not everything, because I think quite often what we, um, what we find is just people don't realize. So actually quite often, if we can just help people understand the impact of this change, they themselves understand the kind of significance. So I think usually that's the, the best place to start. Cool. Um, so moving then to section three, release managers. Skavek, want to take this one? Or should I? You know, I was going to ask you the same because <laughs> here, here's why 
and I don't understand how to, why can't I share my screen? I can't share my screen for some reason. One second, I can, I can try. Is this like the, I forgot my wallet when you go to the restaurant? Okay, let me try sharing. Okay, so um, I've not marked today's uh, problem, but we had a, a QA failure in staining canary, I think about two and a half hours. So not much. Otherwise, last week was good. I don't remember what happened here. This was 18th. Oh, this was uh, no problems with auto deployment, but uh, just a lot of other problems, which meant that we missed promoting a few packages, uh, which could have been promoted. Nothing was stopping us. It's just that there were other things occupying our attention. For sort of future reference on those ones, like do always feel free if you become overloaded by something more critical to to mention like, hey, I have no capacity to handle auto deploys because you know, it is fine to prioritize that, but it also could be someone else has capacity to take over uh, promotion of things. Yeah, yeah. Though sometimes it's also affected by uh, what's happening yeah, no, I know last week was super busy. Yeah, that's was like... Yeah. Sometimes it's related, yeah. So this, I think, has been standard. It hasn't changed much. Oh, we were quite successful on August 11th, 10 deployments. Lead time. This, I've still not understood what happens over here because usually uh, Mondays tend to have a high lead time, but some weeks it just, it doesn't. Maybe we have, we had many people in PTO, so less things got merged over Friday, and this kind of yeah, that's the theory. Down. Other than that, yeah, there's nothing else really. Anyone has any questions? Okay, so that's release management. Cool, thanks Ruben. Uh, Scarlett, do you wanna mention 3B? Yeah, so the release instance was having a little problem during QA. Um, effectively, the instance was running out of RAM and that would cause a bunch of problems. So QA was showing failures, but not because of problems with the actual QA test, but more the release instance was unable to respond. Um, so this was easy to diagnose because when you hop onto the node, you saw that it didn't have any memory left and the CPU was just kind of chugging away, trying to figure out what to do with itself. So um, since QA was kind of in a, a failed state, I went ahead and bumped the instance. I just doubled the amount of RAM required on that instance, um, which may be too much. I did not evaluate the instance aside from the fact that QA was passing and working. Um, that's effectively, that effectively took care of the immediate issue on Friday. Um, I left this issue open such that we could probably redo QA just to make sure that we're not over provisioned on RAM because at this moment in time, we've effectively doubled the cost of this instance. And this node is only required like once a month. 
So it's like really, really costly as far as how much we're paying for this tiny little thing that really doesn't do much. Um, that might be something that we need to address, or we could just leave it and you know just you know tell someone to whatever the bill, whatever. I think I don't remember. Maybe it was with Amy. I don't remember. We had a conversation about something like this in the past. We were thinking about, uh, so long story short. So we use release instance just for the target release. We were thinking about how can we extend backports or in general thinking about backports and running QA on and every release, right? And then we thought about, and then we need a, an environment for each one of this to run QA and things like this and will be costly. So uh, as you mentioned, we are using this only for one week in the month. So it's probably there's some automation we can build around this. Like the machine goes down, we only pay the bill for the disk because maybe we want to still store the information on that, but the machine is off. So it would just cost pennies compared to the total price. And then we can spin it up in the week when we are using it and still have a procedure of some way because if you need to do some testing, some specific operation on that instance, you can still bring it on, use it, and then tear it down. Is this aligning, John, with the point three of your uh, comment on the issue? Yeah. So I left the issue open, um, not with new acceptance criteria, just more like a status update of, hey, this has been bumped at this moment in time, consider reevaluation, and then maybe consider opening an issue to address exactly what Alessio stated. Um, I think it's a fantastic idea, but it's going to take a lot of effort. That's certainly going to be an Epic's worth project. Um, it'll probably be more important if we start extending our backport policy anyways, that way we have appropriate test mechanisms um, for those instances, because currently we don't have anything at all as it stands. So I just wanted to raise this as attention. Um, last week, I added this to the uh, agenda prior to actually bumping the instance. So this is more of a notification at this moment in time. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Does anyone have anything else they want to mention on this recording? Nope. Okay, I'll stop the recording.